Hey, Jason Sharon here with Homos Inc. I want to talk about two words that may have saved your life in the military, but could cost your financial life after your career. It was the day before Saddam Hussein was captured, and I was on USS Enterprise as the engineering officer of the watch. We had a catastrophic steam on rupture in the plant. And what that means is you've seen the movies where they're in a factory or industri industrial area and a pipe bursts and steam escapes the pipe and it can and will kill people. This happened. We had to evacuate the space so that way we didn't die. We had to send somebody back into that space to stop the steam. It was my job as the officer to pick somebody to do that. What that meant was I could be sending him to his death. Petty Officer Smith was the guy that was, it was his duty, his responsibility to go do that. His job was to go in there, put his life at risk and save our lives. I looked at Smith. I didn't even have to say anything. He just said, yes, sir. He donned his protective gear, went down in the space. We didn't know if he was gonna come back. We waited and waited and waited. Smith saved it. Smith did what he needed to do, got out of the space with minor injuries and saved us. He said, yes, sir, without hesitation. Now that we're out, or maybe you're still active, you're gonna get solicitations from companies that say, sign here, refinance this, do that, and they're gonna come from General and so-and-so or Admiral so-and-so, expecting you to just say, yes, sir. You have the ability and the choice to question things now. It's not a chain of command when it comes to financial decisions. Ask the questions, does it make sense? Reach out to a trusted expert, like one of us at the Find My Way Home program, someone that's got good social proof, like me with 400 five-star reviews, to make sure that you're not getting taken advantage of because of your status as a veteran. Don't let yes sir ruin your financial future. Thanks, have a great day.